And we're back with some more Subnautica. And today, today I'm going to find all the last of the tech we've missed. Now, there's been a, a few people who are saying, you know what, you, you've got all the blueprints, you're good. No, I haven't. For example, I don't have the Cyclops shield generator, I don't have the Cyclops depth module, and there's a stasis rifle people keep talking about, I have not got that either. So there's loads of, there's at least two or three blueprints I have not got my hands on. So the plan is to do, today is going to be, I'm going to find them all. I'm going to find all the blueprints that are in the top levels. Now, I've been advised that once you go down deep, there's no blueprints down there really, it's more lore and stuff like that, so you have to find all this stuff at some point. I want to clear at the top level first, I'm just, I'm organized, right? I, I want to get the stuff at the top first, then we'll work at the stuff at the bottom. So right now, this is our home base. We're going to search for every single fragment within 500 meters and clean it out. I'm going to, like, montage it, though, because otherwise it'll just take too long. Look at you. Tasty little time capsule. What you got? This here? This here is the final fragment within fi a spherical 500 meter radius of our base. And it seems to be sort of accessible for some reason that made me all the more curious so let's find out what this thing is uh, okay um what you just get over there how about this angle? Can we grab it from this angle? Come on out of there. It can't be. Oh, come on, seriously? I think we finally gained access to it, and it's a propulsion cannon fragment. Yay! <laughs> I just had to get that. It was driving me nuts. All right, that's it. Every single final freaking fragment within 500 meters is done of our home base and none of them have provided us anything good i was hoping for at least the propulsion cannon everyone keeps talking like the about the propulsion cannon like i already have it so i just assumed you'd find it close by no no not the propulsion cannon the um stasis cannon that was it or the stasis rifle i think they called it in the comments but no turns out that's not within 500 meters of our starting location that's two of the six locations completely clear to fragments though Next up, uh, I think we'll go... I'll have to check my spreadsheet, but probably north. Okay, this next one's going to be a little different. We're going to take the big sub. Uh, I... Where? We're going to be heading north. Uh, we get clear of the shallows for a bit, but I think we can manage that. Or if we can't, I'll just have to repair the sub after I damage it a bunch. Okie dokie, perfect. Let's go. Wait, there's a horn? Okay, I'm, I, they should have led with that. Now, the reason we're taking this with us is we want something to store all the stuff we're going to be bringing with us. It's sound. I've been advised sound will attract things, so... I don't want to do that too much. Engines are on normal. This is rig for silent running, activate external cameras. That's flank speed, that is normal. That over there is where we were headed. Let's hope we don't run into any trouble along the way. That might be awkward. I would hate to have to replace this thing. No idea what we hit. 99% power. Still no idea. I really feel like I can't see anything around here. Like the bottom half is just very obscure. Thing is like steering a cow. All right, let's check the external cameras for a second. Uh, right, I think we're over a big crevasse, so dive, I suppose. And that might be that. Not that deep. I think I may have to get out and scout. Inability to steer, but it, like you can't really see down when you're trying to steer, which is a real pain in the butt. Huh. Maybe go a little bit out further. 
risks us running into some big predators, but I really don't like steering this thing. Is that a wreck right beside us? I mean, it'd be rude not to pop out and just have a quick look, right? I mean, come on. Check the Seamoth with us for exploration purposes. Our AP. Here. Here. I would advise reliably that if you kill the predators, they don't the big predators, they don't come back. I suppose we'll find out where the other... Uh... Mm. This place just feels creepy. Well, it felt creepy, to be honest, but this place feels... It's the noises, I think. Uh... To... Ocean arm fragment. I think that's a new one. Nope, oh, that's half of it. Find the rest of it. Yeah, we scanned one of those. Stasis rifle. Can't believe I found this without even shutting up the, the thingies yet. Okay, it's only 50% of it, though. Unless they've got another one around here somewhere. You? Med kit, of course. Another door. Nice. Okay, grappling arm. Already got you. Okay, let's cut you open. See what goodies you have inside. Nice. Okay, lots of weird stuff in here. First, propulsion arm. Gotcha. Wait, you're telling me that is not scannable. That thing there. It Okay, fair enough. Looks like a regular arm for pawn suit, I suppose. Damn it, I'm running low on auction. I think I'm gonna pop out for a quick second and I'll be back. There's an entire prawn suit here and it won't let us scan it. I find that a bit weird. Data terminal? PRAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. It's uh ooh. Stasis rifle, excellent. I would advise this is the best thing for stunning and killing things. Well, stunning things so you can kill them. Near blueprint acquired. Let's see what else we've got in here. What are you? Swim charge fins. Yeah. We have five new blueprints I gotta check out. Double quilted bed, office chair. Okay, don't care. Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charge your hand, he your held tools while you swim. Uh, charge a held tool by swimming. That is fast as the ultra glide fins. You know what? I'll probably build them anyway for funsies. Prawn suit propulsion cannon. Industrial strength propulsion cannon designed to fit the Altera prawn suit. Okay, so we can fling around really big stuff. Nice. Stasis rifle. Freezes physical objects in place. That would be really good for freezing things, so you can stab them, or blow them up. Whichever is easier. Anyway, data bank. This is the life pod we found. Oh, Space. Exploitable life forms of planets. In my time on this planet, I discovered many unusual and diverse life forms. Some were useful in fabricating advanced materials, while others became staples of my diet. I suggest you make it a prayer to find blueprints for aquatic and terrestrial grow beds, as well as containment units for mobile alien life. I've included a few specimens you may find useful. Good luck, fellow survivors. This person actually gave me a marble melon, which I planted just for funsies, and yeah, that was actually a good choice. Uh, I'll show you them later. Stasis Rifle uses patented technology to slow time around an entity to as near as the laws of physics will permit, essentially anchoring the target in place without affecting its internal workings. 
It is designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of opportunity for action in time-sensitive scenarios. Stasis racial rifle features an independent replaceable power cell, and the trigger may be held down to increase the area of effect and duration. Common applications include fast-moving mechanisms such as fan belts, facilitate maintenance operation, temporarily incapacitating organs for organisms for research purposes. Sound of that. Navigating perilous spaces by freezing potential threats so that we can temporarily permanently incapacitate them. And B, may not function correctly on larger life forms. Oh. That could be awkward. Well, anyway. Let's keep exploring. Propulsion cannon fragment. Propulsion cannon fragment. There is a lot of extra fragments around this place. Ah, uh, propulsion arm. Yep, yeah, might as well get the space. Yeah, we got space for the extra titanium. Why not? Let's go into the next room. Uh, you are open door. You've been through the entire ship, I think. Well, maybe, but most of it, to the relevant bits. And yes, I'm very aware that I've probably left stuff behind. And hey, eh? that is the blueprint over there. Yeah, I'm getting slightly better. I'm not getting great or anything. But I'm getting slightly better at noticing these things. Oh, never mind. We already had that one. Well, that's enough of that. Let's get back in this ship. I think we've got everything of value we want here. There is a few Cyclops engine pieces, but we already have a Cyclops. I'm not too concerned. Captain, all systems online. Now this is our storage array. I basically just chucked this together so we can store all of the titanium and stuff like that that we come across. Here we have our power cells and some of the more random junk we've picked up. These are spare power cells, and we start to drain these down. First, we have lost actually not a lot of energy. Once we've lost a sixth of our power capacity, we'll come back and fix that. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. We're trying to find that. Can ah, where is it? Yeah, there's zero one. Here's the drop-off shelf. Perfect. Let's go. I'm a dive. I'm gonna save. Nope, that is not the bottom. <laughs> this thing's only good to 500 meters, so we're just gonna get close to this and use this. Eh, uh, probably nothing. Ooh, 497 meters. 98. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. That's okay. Popped back up a bit. It's fine. It's... Up a little bit more so you'll stop beeping. There you go. Perfect. We can stay right about there. I can't really see it, even though it's 17 meters away, but I think that's good enough. All right, now, one of the reasons we took this was these marble melons. Okay, we've picked up three of those. And we've picked up three of those. And we can go yum, 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 yum. Pretty much maximally refills us. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I bet they are. And we slash the remaining ones. I should probably slash them first and then eat the remainders. Uh, slash you. And that gives us four seeds apiece. Plant. Plant. And done. That should keep us uh, good enough in water and food for a while. At the same time, we've got all of this storage location. So we're going to come back here to recharge our ship. And, uh, well, dump off resources when we've done all our scanning. So now we're just going to put together a quick scanner base. All systems online. Okay, see about right. Easy peasy. Any quick.
quick hatch. Emergency power only. Oxygen right. production offline. Now, what we did need was there's an thermal vent around here somewhere, isn't there? Power nearby, according to my notes. Just can't remember. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now, we have a quick. Cherokee boys. That close it. There's one. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Got lots of Sharkies. Guys are gonna make life interesting. Okay, so there's three of these things. Temperature around here. You know what? So I've killed several of the sharks that were annoying us, and uh, there's probably one more around here somewhere, but that's fine. Deal with him when he comes back. Uh, there you are. Second. What I need to do is find a way to install thermal power without dying. This guy again. Okay. The amount of sea creatures you have to kill to get anything done around here is incredible. Oh, come on! Seriously, how many of these things are there? I, you know what? Just gonna go with the whole, uh, thing first then. You, give me an exterior module. Give me a thermal plant. Before we go in there, how many med pits kits have we got them? Two. Might be sufficient. Oh. Hey, buddy. Okay, now where was I? Yeah, I was building something. Out of my way. transmitter. Why not have? I need some gold and some titanium for that. Easy peasy. We got that in storage. Okay. You go here. Uh, is that transmitting power from that thing or not? Yeah, I haven't really played around too much with the uh, power things or, well, I haven't played with these power things at all. There we go. Perfect. Okay, then we just have to get something closer to the base and we should be good. So, you can see the line coming from this, so we'll just keep pulling this until, well, the line breaks. There you go. That's about far enough and we'll make it nicely visible. Perfect! Habitat power restored. Now, I have no idea how much thing power this thing generates. But might not be enough to keep it powered, or I might need to build a second one, or I might need solar anyway. There's like, mm, too many variables here, but let's find out when we go in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Power seems to be going up rather rapidly. Maybe this will be able to run this thing. Right, well, the distances it's showing us are not great, but that's okay. What we can do is we can make scanner room, scanner room range upgrades. Four of them. Probably should have made these before I left. And then we just chuck them in here. And... Huh. 
bunch of floating islands above our heads. Uh, well, that's great and all, but let's see. We got data boxes, fragments, cold, gold, heat areas, limestone chunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, bronze suit drill arm fragment. Bronze suit fragment. These salt deposits. Oh, this is a juicer area. You might crystal and wrecks. You know what? Let's let the area expand out of it. It usually takes time for these things to fully process. So maybe we should start to scan. Actually, a scan would probably be a better idea. What though? Data boxes. I'm gonna do a scan for data boxes and find a lot of them. And I'm gonna have a look here and see if I can see any obviously underground thingies. Alright, let's go find this fragment. Okay. Or whatever it's called. Whatever we scanning for data box. Let's go find this data box. I'm gonna leave this here. This is sort of like our home base, our mobile home base. So we park here and anytime we have resources we want to bring back or Come on! How many of you guys do I have to kill? Maybe I can't eat you guys. I'd be absolutely stuffed to the gills. All right, let's get a quick top up on the water before we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Assuming the watermelon is finished. Oh, actually. Check something here. What's the power at? 48, 247, 249, 248, 50. Okay, so. There's enough thermal power to keep this thing running forever, and we could probably chuck in a battery charger or two if we want to. So we could recharge the power cells on the giant sub we've got, which I have to give a name to. I mean, it's called a Cyclops, but you know what? I'll think on that when I come back to it. For now, data boxes. We're gonna leave our lights off so we don't annoy those little mini sharks. And the data boxes are the wreck I explored when I was coming down here. You know, I am. Um, not even surprised a little bit. I really am terrible about finding stuff in these things. And that's a door it looks like we can open. That might actually be a quicker way in. Yep, never mind. Oh. I have to move this door somehow, don't I? I didn't bring the propulsion cannon! I'm gonna have to go back to base and get the propulsion cannon, aren't I? Perfect! Propulsion cannon! And while we're back here, I should probably listen to the radio message. It's been a while. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. I'm Signal sorry. location uploaded to PDA. I'm, I'm afraid to say you didn't make it. At some point I will have to check this out. I don't want to check that one already, but... Eh. Actually, 1700 meters this way. It's on our, on our path, but we're going to be pretty close to it when the time comes. Oh, and one thing, every time you build one of these uh, scanner rooms, you get a couple of camera drones with it. You can't find a way to get rid of them entirely, they just, they show up on the HUD, so you have to disable them being visible. That life pod is actually well out of range of our scanner room. Our scanner room is there, and that life pod is at five or six hundred meters at least from our scanner room, so I don't think we would, our scanner would have picked it up. That's, um... Interesting to note. We are picking up that chunk down there, so let's go check it out. We're back and we're properly equipped this time. Oh, and I should probably take back out the torch again. Right. What have we got? Two data boxes. Our alien containment provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna at hatch to enter. Okay, aquarium for breeding fish, right? Propulsion cannon applies percussive force to enemies when we got this one already. That was still worth it. And you are stasis rifle fragment, another one. And another propulsion cannon fragment. Propulsion cannon fragment. This place is a gold mine. Of titanium at least. And another propulsion cannon fragment. Like as I go through this, I'm thinking 
Well, some of these places would be great to go really early in the game when you've just got started and you've just got access to the Seamoth and maybe a depth module or two. Like, I I kind of have to go watch the speedruns at some point to see how well they did because I imagine they did some absolutely ridiculous speedruns of this knowing where all the tech is. Anyway. That nabbed. Let's go maybe check out this life pod real quick. Hey. You? Yeah, use life pod. Let's go. Keeping the lights off intentionally. Aiming to discourage predators from nibbling us. I just... No. That's a wolf. Been to this type of area before. There is an electrocutor over there. Yeah, there's those blood vines. We've got some of those around the place. I should have waited till daylight. Actually, it is daylight. We're down that deep. I don't think any light can penetrate. Let's see anything too dangerous just yet, but that doesn't mean it's not here. And oh my god, that's so much quartz. I don't want to. Brain melters. I do want that quartz, though. Look at the amount of it. There's just a flood of it. Entrance. What, we're just gonna. Second? That's what teleport jobs, isn't it? We'll risk it. Let's go! And you are. Cyclops Depth Module Mark 1. Thank you. Any way into this? Asshole. Welcome aboard, Captain. You. Yeah, thank you. Now, as far as I can see, there's no way into this thing. Oh, wait, there it is. There's a giant hole in the side of it. Okay, never mind. I'm a moron. Quick, 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 quick. Let's do this fast. And then let's grab in here real quick. Got PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Wonderful. What else you got? Okay. What is, what's the PDA got to say? Data downloads. Aurora survivors. Life pod two. Chief technical officer. Use voice log. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. 500 meters down, in real life that's just death, but hey, in game life it also was death. Alien containment, despite huge Altera-led advancement in stellar technology, exploring new worlds still has its challenges, and alien life forms are one of them. That's why I built the Alien Containment Unit. The unit is primarily designed to breed larger or more dangerous species. Technical provisions unit must be installed in a multi-purpose room module. Okay. Units may be connected between rooms stacked in a column. Okay, a hatch must be installed in order to access the unit. The base of the unit is a planter. Allowing sea flora to be grown from seeds. Okay, breeding tips. Provide sufficient time and living space. Organisms of the same species that mate and reproduce. Ah, breed knew it. Eggs inside the unit will hatch over time. Cool. Organisms raised from birth in captivity often exhibit unusually passive behavior. You can raise tame fishies. Warning, environmental controls may fail if unit is overpopulated. Infections may be transmitted faster between specimens in artificial environments. Never tap the glass. You don't know what will tap back or how hard. Right, um... Good to know. So, we've got Cyclops Depth Module Mark 2. Safe depth diving considerably does not stack. Cyclops Depth Module Mark 3. Uh, that one, we 
don't have enough nickel ore for that. We also need to get Mojo Mark 1. That one, I'm going to need Canite Crystal, which I don't have yet. And everything else we'll worry about later. And Cyclops Step Module Mark 1 just requires passing ingots and rupees. We have those at home. Which reminds me, I should probably install an engine efficiency mod, uh, if at all possible. That would make our power consumption... Our power consumption has been game so far. We haven't been using it too much, but maybe later that might be a thing. Alien containment we have to build when we get back to base as well. All right, then. Damn asshat. I don't like you. Okay, then. Head back to... Oh, what? No. I need to name these better. Yep, zero one over here. Uh, to our home away from... Dock. Captain. All systems online. Excellent. Top up the batteries if you wouldn't mind, and... I'm gonna drop off some resources. Stabilizing. Don't worry, I still eat potatoes when I go back to base. It's just when we're on the move for now. This is actually quite convenient. I have been looking at the batteries on these, and it turns out the batteries drain sequentially. This is mentioned in the comments, and I'm just checking to make sure it's accurate. I, yeah? Look at this. We're down to 46, 45. This thing is recharging the power cell on... Guys? Uh, it's recharging the power cell on the Seamoth. Well, that's actually an interesting side effect. Oh, and I gotta go relabel that buoy as well while I'm here. Okay, we'll put in north, just to make it easier on my brain. Okay, well. Welcome aboard, Captain. Scanned all the databanks in range. Let's see what we see now. Fragments we're definitely gonna go for lithium. No, we don't we to drill and like fragments. If I search for fragments, it's probably gonna bring up all the prawn suit ones as well. So I'm thinking fragments. All we really care about. We'll do this, but I think we've actually got all the blueprints we want now. I mean, all the blueprints I mentioned at the start we have now acquired. Is there anything missing? Cyclops shield generator. That is the only thing I'm missing. There may be other things that I don't even have a pre-blueprint for. But for now, I think... Yeah, we'll just scan this. If we get the Cyclops shield blueprint, we'll stop with this. If we don't get the Cyclops shield blueprint, move on to the next one. Well, let's go hunting fragments, shall we? In the dark. Can't be turning on the lights or the Sharkies will find us. Oh, seriously? A tiny little fragment down here? What's the bet? It's absolutely pointless. Propulsion cannon! Yay! Make this far out, it'd be a little bit better. Stasis rifle fragment. How is it that I keep finding them all day today? I never found any of these in any of my travels, and now it's like, oh, here you go, just have all the stasis rifle stuff. Stasis rifle fragment. Cyclops engine. Well, that's it. I have scanned every single fragment within 500 meters radius of our little scanner room down here. And it's not uh, amazing. That was uh, pretty substandard results. But I think most of it was that giant wreck we found at the start had most of the good stuff in it. If you hadn't have ran into that, and the only reason we ran into that was because we needed to take this big ass ship right here. Because of that, we went around the long route instead of going directly. And that's how we stumbled into the big wreck. But a roundabout way it helped. Alright, let's uh, park this guy up. And we have enough marble melons to keep us going for a while longer. Well, what do we do with this thing now? This is in such a weird location. Like, I almost feel like I should have moved it more centrally, but I didn't know what this place was like when I set it up. Interesting location. But let's see if there's anything else worth scanning for. I don't think we care too much, though. Pro arm fragment, prone suit fragment. Uh, let's try a prawn arm fragment, just because it's asking. Yeah, it's right up there on the same ship thing we've been to. Let's try Rex. Same again. Should probably let it expand out a bit to see if it'll pick up anything else, but I'm not... See, this thing has a scanner time, and it, the longer you leave the scan running, the longer the, the bigger the radius gets. That's why there's also an upgrade for over here that allows you to make scanner room speed upgrade, so they actually, you know, expand the radius faster. However, I'd much prefer it to go 500 meters, even if it takes a while, as opposed to 450 meters if it's a little bit faster. Because the range and the speed ones are mutually exclusive, you can't have both. 
Well, yeah, I don't think there's anything else worth it here. It's time to head back to base, stock up, and go do this again. One thing we could do is we could recycle this. We could break this down and put it back into storage and then rebuild a new one where we're going. Nah. I think it's far more fun to just sort of roll with it, so to speak. Uh, turn on external floodlights. Yes, please. Pilot this sub. Up, up, and away. Wasn't me. Also wasn't me. Okay, maybe that one was me. And there is home. Alright, let's see if we can get back there without crashing. You know, none of these things have a speedometer. You have no idea how fast you're moving. We're just pulling up on the rear of the base here. The thing is, I want to go northwest next, so I wanted to pull up the sub from this direction so that we can maybe raise that up a little bit. There we go. And pull in nice and close. We like for the ship on board to try and get out. But. That will be an interesting thing to see. Oh, and we're almost up to three lockers full of titanium for all of the fragments we've scanned. Now we're looking on the food front. Well, uh, let's uh, maybe stock up real quick. Oh, and one of our power cells is completely drained. So we're going to take this one. In fact, we're going to take that one too. They put the spares. Gonna load these two up. Done. Fully loaded. And then we take those two wasted batteries, well, one in a fraction. We dump them in here. One of them be charged already. And we charge them up here, which means when we come back from our next run, we'll have two power cells waiting for us to top up anything on the ship that needs topping up. At the same time, all we do when we're back here is we grab all the necessary resources to put together the next scanner room. Which, according to my notes, is northwest. Solar is pretty handy, 100 meter, 20 meter climb above mushrooms. Oh, yeah, mushroom forest one. Yeah, that should be pretty handy. A quick look at my very professionally made notes here indicates that we have done the core sector, we've done south, uh, we've also completed north. Uh, over here on the right-hand side of us, though, well, we, we X'd that one out, namely because I went to the edge of that and there was just monsters, and most of the middle of it was also monsters and there's nothing there. However... I'm not sure about up here, like maybe this bit up here is okay, but definitely I'm not really going here, and I don't think I'm going here. I might go down to the very edge down there and above there, but no, not not anytime soon. So now we want to do over here in the top left. I figure we'll do that one, that one, and then finally minus one, minus one, assuming we haven't found everything by then. It's just minus one, minus one. There was a lot of nasty things there, and I don't want to bring our ship in there. That That's just going to get it destroyed, probably. So we'll start over here. This is probably... These two are, are less aggressive. Time to say hello to my little friend, Stasis Rifle. Now, how big are you and how much space do you take up is the question. I'm betting it's about the same as the propulsion. Yeah, same as the propulsion cannon. Okay then. Now, I try and avoid... I try and avoid... I tried to avoid spoilers for this game as much as possible. However, I do read all the comments, which means... I couldn't avoid all the spoilers. It turns out, you know, people will keep giving suggestions and there's things that I will just pick up to osmosis no matter how much I try and blank it out. So we're going to go kill a Leviathan with this stasis gun and you know what, we'll leave the rest to be a surprise. First off, let's get in a little target practice, shall we? Whoa. That would make catching fish an awful lot easier. And we are able to enter it and... Cook boomerang. Okay, that. And it eventually fades out. Let's try that one more time. If I don't charge it up, it's smaller. One flash, two flash. Gone. Second. Let me try this again. Maximum charge. 
Oh. Okay then. Now how do I know when it's fading is the question. I can sort of see it drifting out. Okay. And then gone. Let me try that one more time. And it's about 28 Mississippis for me, so just under the 30 second mark. Well, now, I'm gonna charge up the battery and then we're gonna go pick a fight with a Leviathan. It's of course dark when I decide to go hunting Leviathans and I think I've learned from the last time. Wait until morning. So, I built myself a bed in the moon pool. Because why not? Uh, you should just wake up when it comes morning time, I think? And... okay then. Let's get on with the day. Oh, don't, don't fall over. That's actually a little bit of a precarious way to get out of bed, but it's fine, it's fine. Let's go pick a fight. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, there's fishy, fishy. Big fishy, fishy. Nope, that's the wrong one. One second, you that there. Now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ooh. And let's charge her up for a big smack. Okay, still scary, still scary. Now, what we want to do is, I've been advised 14 of these. So, right click to drop. One, two, three, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then run away. Um. That didn't seem to work. Oh. In that case. Stop being so loud. Okay, fine. We'll drop a bunch more. And let's knife him. That's not working, is it? Prepare my ship though, real quick. Whew. Okay, then it was sloppy, wasn't very well done, but we got one. See, there's a second one around here, I know as well, so let's not sit on our laurels too much. First things first, though, scan ourselves our first kill. Keeper Leviathan, dead as a doornail. So, I've been advised the gas pellets could do it, but I tried 14, that didn't seem to work. Maybe if we try bigger ones, root for Leviathan. Leviathan class species are vast organisms at the top of their respective food chains. Species is a streamlined hunter, highly developed senses. Powerful mandibles, this Leviathan is capable of locking prey in place with four powerful mandibles and drawing it when reaching its jaws. Simulated pressure exceeds seamoth crush resistance. Yep, notice that. Echolocation, the deeper we're emanated by the Reaper at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you can hear it, the Reaper will see you. Profile. Scan specimen measures 55 meters long. Observe circling its prey and attacking from behind. This creature is almost all muscle, very little brain, no sense of morality, just muscles, synapses, and teeth. 
basically shark, but bigger. Motivation load. Congratu congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. Assessment seems extreme threat. Avoid all circumstances. A bit late for that. Um. Right, well, you don't get anything out of it. Uh, I had brought more of these gas pellet things to maybe try more of them, but is a knife thing, maybe? Yeah, I'll try the gas pellet things again on another one later on. But for now, that worked pretty good. Well, that's enough of that. We, we know that the stasis rifle now works. I've collected a bunch of those chemical weapons pellets just in case. And we can do some more testing with those later. Got just about everything we need. I'll pick up an extra medkit on the way and let's see what the radio has got to tell us. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. I didn't know the automatons were on this world. Have to eradicate them later. Okay, for now. Uh, this thing here is actually pretty cool. It produces two pieces of t salt and two pieces of water. Originally, I thought the salt was a byproduct of making the water. It's no. It will always, like, if you remove the water, it'll just replace the water. If you remove the salt, it'll just replace the salt. The system is designed to give you both of those resources if you want them. I mean, okay, I probably should have figured that out a lot earlier, but, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, we'll take a little bit of extra water with us. We're going to be going on a long journey here. In fact, I might grab a couple of extra med kits, too, while we're here. It could get hairy. Another thing I'd like to try before we go is upgrading our prawn suit with the grappling arm. It should allow us to spider-man our way about the place. And the prawn suit drill arm. It should allow us to dig large resource nodes. Vicious. Now, I just gotta see if there's any large reason resource nodes in range of us. I think this thing can show it up. I've got it set to collect wrecks right now to hopefully use its scanner radius, but there's gotta be something, right? Not seeing it. I was hoping it'd give us those large resource node things. Never mind. We'll just have to have a play around and see how it goes. Hey, buddy, where's your upgrade slots? Here we are. So, we're going to give you a drill arm and. Drill arm and grappling suit, actually. No. Those. I'd like the left to be movement, right to be drill. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, much better. Okay, how does this... Hey. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we have to look forward. Never mind, that hurts. Hey, let's go find some resources to drill. If that was cool. We managed to just sort of spider person our way across a cliff. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. How's our battery looking? 97%. Okay, so it's not draining our battery too fast. Now we just gotta find some large resource nodes. See, I think I know where there are some, but they're really far away. And we'll have to come back to that. Once we need the large resource nodes, we'll bring this uh, sucker out of retirement. Uh, this ship really is starting to grow on me. One thing we've gotta do while we're here, there is... Say there's a thingy around getting stuff. Yes, you. My club's upgrade factory. Brought the necessary stuff to make the depth module upgrade. Right. I think currently we are good to 500 meters. Let me check. I never turned off the engines today. Right. Yeah, we're good to 500 meters right now. So, if we install this in... Ah, yes. Here it is. Perfect. Okay, so... You, go in there. Now, crush depth is now 900 meters. Perfect. Now, we can't get the higher ones just yet, namely because, well, of the materials, we need nickel ore for that. That will come later. Okay, buddy, where are we headed? Uh, oh, yeah, engine's up. Engine powering up. Cool, i going to go northwest. There we go. All right, let's floor it. Got exploring to do. 
thinking this might be just about close enough. We don't really need to get this thing right on top of everything. I mean, it'd be nice, but it's not entirely necessary. So, need to be prepared to go in case we run into any unfriendly natives. All right, let's get this thing built. Find all the wrecks in the area. Hopefully one of them's got the blueprint we're looking for. The Cyclops shield, I think, is the only thing we have left that we haven't gotten that we probably should at some point. Okay, let's build this sucker. Uh, I've basically loaded out the Seamoth with all the necessary equipment in here and here. I can't even remember half the stuff. I, I work it out before I leave and then I stock it up. All right, let's go. Beautiful. All right, now let's stick in a quick door. Double beautiful. Then we just got to go up and get some solar. That could be slightly trickier, but I think we can manage it. Been lots of mentioned in the comments that solar panels work underwater, and I don't need to make this giant pillar system that I seem to be addicted to making. And well, yes, solar panels do work underwater. It's the same as in oxygen unattended in that with depth they become less efficient. So once below you go below 200 meters, you won't get anything out of them. If you go below 100 meters, you're going to get a lot less out of them. So realistically, I want to get them at the top, so that way I only have to build two. So maybe I would be better off not going to such extremes, but. I mean, what's the point in playing if you're not going to go at least some mild extremes? Some people ask questions like, why exploit it like this? Is this not exploiting it by making these things floating instead of, you know, attaching them to a base? I mean, it can build floating wind turbines, you know, kilometers offshore. Just floating it in the middle of nowhere, so, uh, no, I'm, I'm perfectly cool with this. I figure if it's not going to give me wind turbines, I'm just going to use floating solar. It's, it's almost the same thing. Now, let's see how deep you have to go down before I'm going to need to have another little point. It's probably going to be about 100 meters, and I think I may have misjudged slightly, or did I actually know? Come on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. How far down can we make that? Nope, can't go any further deeper than that. We actually did step back. Ah, yeah, I need to get my hands on some gold. One second. Yeah! Look at that! Perfect! Okay then, and can we deconstruct that afterwards? No, we cannot. That has to stay there. I should have built a oh, foundation, then I could deconstruct that afterwards. Okay, that actually works. That means I should be able to deconstruct these afterwards. Yeah, perfect. So it'll just hang there in midair. Go! And out of battery juice. Never mind. Done! Okay, finally, that thing's up and running. Let's go do some scanning for Rex, shall we? Uh, I just realized I forgot to bring the necessary resources to make the scanner range enhancers. One moment, gotta pop back to base real quick. That moon has gotta be super close. How fast is that? I mean, that looks like you reach it, touch it almost. And you're not quite fully charged yet, but that's okay. Time to install some upgrades. Um, map explosion, please. Map explosion, please. Do I have to look away for it to happen, or... You can actually see the drop-off over here. And I found a second wreck. Nice and high up. Let me see if I can notice any weird features on this terrain. It's like a sort of a... That's the subterranean area I've been to before. It's off this direction. You can see the chasm sort of weirdly enough in this... I know it's hard to see. It, it's probably really hard to see on a video. You can see where that goes under ground. That is the chasm we went down before. Left that buoy. Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? We'll just go straight for the blueprints if they've got it. Eh, hey, what do you got for us? All they got is fragments. Can't get us lithium, which... Fragments it is. 
find a big bunch of fragments, that usually means we found a wreck. I have a strange feeling we're going to be finding a lot of Cyclops hull parts. Hey, there's a copper node, is it? Gold, copper, special equipment required. I wonder if I can find those with the scanner. The scanner should be able to pick those up, right? It's done. Got every single fragment in range. Uh, there were mostly Cyclops hull fragments, a few other ones on the very, very edge that probably belong to other biomes, but it seems this mushroom place is just nothing but Cyclops hull fragments everywhere. It's madness. All right, uh, we can stop that and see if anything else has shown up. It's now actually, when you first boot this up, it won't be able to see everything in range. It takes a while to load in all the areas, but right now it's loading in nothing new. It's a pity. Yeah, I'll see where that second wreck is, but I think... I think we're, this is a dud. Looks like we're going to be moving on to the next section shortly. Hey, I remember this wreck. I'm sure I've explored this one already. And we've got all the fragments inside it. I mean, we'll have a quick gander. It's always stuff I miss. Yeah, we've been here before. I think we've extracted all the value from this. Okay, okay, something weird. I can't even the mechanics is better. Turns out, this area must not have been loaded in, because I went back to the scanner room and I changed it over to fragments again because it brought up these. It was like it shouldn't have had the option to bring up fragments because we'd already found all of them, right? Well, no, it turns out there is fragments left. So, I need to go clear this place out of the last of the fragments. It's not entirely necessary, but it would be nice. Uh, yeah, propulsion can. It's all light stick fragments. That's all it is. That's the reason I missed them. They're all just light stick fragments. And, well, I'm not going to care about light stick fragments. They don't look like anything. It's just a lump of metal. I'm not sure what the light sticks are for. Oh well. 100% completionist stuff done. Oh, I am going to try one more thing before I evacuate this area. Also, there's somehow a fragment in there in the hull somehow. I have no idea how to get it out. The plan here is very simple. I'm going to head northwest is if there's any more stuff out there, then the scanner room should be able to pick it up. It turns out, like they've been mentioning in the comments, that areas don't load up, but I just assumed once you scanned long enough, the scanner would eventually load them all up. No, I think it was me swimming around to collect all the blueprints, or it's the uh, fragments, that loaded in the areas. So we have a quick skirt around the edges here. Uh, get mauled by sharks probably a few times, and just make sure there's nothing out there. It's pretty barren, so I think we're close to the edge of the map. We'll have a quick scout see anyway. Ah. That looks like a... a... meteor fell down, but then didn't sink too deep? I don't know. F. Ah, just regular rocks. Okay, nice crater you've got. That looks like alien stuff. Alien stuff, alright. Looks like there's no shield this time around. Been flooded. Hey, I'm okay with that. Faster movement anyway. Oh, insert tablet. There's an area here. Alien tablet required. Done. Hey, I have to come back here with an alien tablet to find out what's in that room. And this exploring thing is, is actually pretty good. Okay, this. This is the edge of the world. Never mind. Leviathan! Not worth killing. Let's just keep moving. Oh, and I saw a teleporty guy back there as well. Oh, come on. Sir. Well, I was kind of expecting this place to not be too friendly. Giant knob of salt. Ooh, fragment. Excellent. Ah, one of these nutters. Bugger off. Okay, this does look like... Yes, this is a wreck. Oh, and... Where is home base? Base is... That direction. So, southeast? Probably should have built my next scanner facility, and I probably would have found this anyway. But never mind. Found it now. 
First we'll find a f way in, then we'll turn off the lights. Okay, we're in. Yeah, that's a sealed door. Got anything for it. You've been here before. Okay, maybe I haven't been here before. Just, I felt like that whole staircase system back there it might just be reused assets, but... Butter, that's good. A whole bunch of sand, whatever. What do you got for us? Come on. Yeah, and this downward ladder oh, that was covered in last time. Okay. Er. I think this place would have more to it, you know what I mean? Right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this door. Wait, what you got for us? Door we have to cut open. Is that it? That's it? Another door? What's the bets it'll have a med kit on the other side? No, 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 no. It's just... I remember cutting open two doors once and on the opposite side there was like a med kit or a bottle of water and I'm like, what was the point of all of that? I suppose they've got to like temper your expectations. Okay, locker room. Come on, you can have something in here. Nope. Picture of that lady again? Yeah, there she is. What else we got in here? Don't have to cut through that door. That's good. Uh, are you kidding me? This is just a way out. Oh my god, I'm blind. It's literally inside the first cut door before it... Oh, I'm up it. That is actually the Cyclops shield generator. And yeah, that feels... I mean, I was kind of expecting them to troll me a little bit longer, but... I'll take it. Uh, what else you got in here? There's got to be something. Yeah, there's got to be like a PDA or something around here. There's always a PDA. I've learned that, so I'm going to keep searching until I find a PDA or I'm absolutely 100% satisfied there is none. If only they'd glow a bit. So I've got to turn off the light every so often and keep an eye out for light sources. Found it! Oh, finally. Integrating new PDA data. See, I learn. Slowly but surely. Alright, all I have to do is make the same mistake a few dozen times and eventually you pick it up. New blueprints. Cyclops shield generator. Oh. Advanced wiring kit. Pollen and power cells. Okay, uh, yeah, we can totally make that. We just need hydrochloric acid. And, okay, so we can make the shield generator now. I feel much more comfortable going somewhere dangerous with that. We've got a shield generator on board. Profitability projections. Two choices. A. Carry on working long-haul missions on the outer reaches of space. Two. Come up with a profitable business. Sell out to Altera. Live happily ever after. I choose two. Uh, ideas. A robot that builds other robots. A water, ah, a water filtration system that has infinite power. Solar power. Body heat. Do sun last suns last forever? <laughs> Check this. A phase gate that can be built by self-repairing robots instead of poor lonely humans on an 18-month mission. What happens when something goes wrong? A VR program that precisely simulates real life down to the finest detail. How do I know I didn't already invent it and I'm inside it right now? <laughs> a gun that shoots other smaller guns. Can't see any really uh, real objections to this one. <laughs> okay. Um, not quite expecting that, but that's that thing. Alright, I'll have a quick gander around the outside edge just to see if there's anything I missed, and then I'm gonna keep exploring. This place has been profitable so far, so why not keep going? What are you? Oh, rubies. Hell yeah. And maybe stockpile. Ow, stockpile a couple more of those. Okay, there's another vent here with lots of ruby and stuff in it. I think we're good on that front. What I'm kind of tr trying to do is go down the, uh, the south side of the map. Like, we've done the middle west side of the map is done, and then the east side of the bug. What was that? Yep, it's one of the big ones. Sort off, buddy. I didn't do it with you. So, going south. Okay, it's not perfect. We would be better off using a scanner room, but I think people are going to get tired of me building scanner rooms and scanning for stuff. And that looks like a wreck. Perfect. That also looks like a leviathan.
Yeah, if I want to investigate that wreck. Second. Hey, buddy. Come on. Hey, I'm flashing you. Mooning work better or... Oh, damn it. Where did I put my ship? I don't want to lose that. That would be awkward. What I want to do is park this ship somewhere where it's almost impossible for the Leviathan to kill it. Bugger off, Sparky. Okay, fine. Let's go. Quick. Uh, this place looks small. Uh, that is... No. Oh, data box. Well, I don't care what you are right now. We'll worry about you in a second. Exit. It's a, there's a new blueprint thingy. Uh, no, no. What else we got? Nope. Hey, look, I gotta worry about that ship out there getting eaten. I don't have time for this. Doors, sealed doors are just the worst. This is a repair tool. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Okay, our ship is parked under this. It's completely safe. Probably. It and all its valuable cargo. Okay, what do you got for us? Yep, Weedabix. Got it. Or Weedabix. Got anything else in here for us? I think that's it. Wait, nope. Yep, I think we're done. Oh. Time to check blueprints. Hey, what do we get? I think it was a water filtration suit, so it, it probably hydrates us while we move. Ah, water filtration suit. Reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean, drinkable water. Requires synthetic fibers, aerogel, and copper wire. Yes, we can make all of those. Yep, I'll worry about that later. Now we're going to get away from the nasty thing that wants to eat us. And I out for any more becks. Yeah, that guy's really sneaky. Who are you? This looks kind of pretty. Bring us close to the edge of the world, though. Yep, that's edge of the world, all right. Let's get back inside. I'm kind of scouting around the edge of the map because I figure all the good stuff would be. I mean, it could be wrong. Yeah, but I'm still going to try it that way for a while. I think we just found an entrance to another one of those caves. Yep, there's one of those teleporter nutters. Lead down to the bone caves. Probably? I've already spent my beacon that I brought with me, didn't I? Should have okay, you know what? It's fine anyway. We kind of know the rough outline of where it is. What I can do is just get to the top, figure out what direction it is, and then we'll know what direction to take from our base to get here if we need to. Okay, our base is due east. Yes, yeah, so this is right east of our base. We would have found this if we had to put down the scanner thingy. It. I've gone as far south as I can go. We've done the entire southern side of the map. I'm gonna do... Actually, there's no point even going to the bottom. That's... Southwest? Yep, that's where there's the large titanium map. It's over there somewhere. So we need to maybe head that direction. Have a quick gander. I'm actually down to 34 battery power in this thing. I may have been using this quite heavily. down here. Don't teleport you guys. End section. Yep. That's just... Yeah, I just kept driving. I heard that. I felt it. And it was like, no, nope, nope. What are you? How do we explore you without dying? No, 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 no. I thought that was a safe parking spot. I really did. I thought, you know what? That looks like a nice parking spot. No, I'll find us there. Then that guy's eyeball comes around the corner and he's like, no, this is not a safe sparking spot. Go away. 
Tell you what, why don't you eat some elect- Oh my god, I just reduced our battery power to 19%. That's probably a bad idea. Yeah, a little quick zap. Cut off for a bit. Okay, we're gonna explore you. Super quick. Super quick. If we hear anything chewing on our ship, we go back immediately. What do we got? 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 Uh, data box. Cool. Booze. Give me the booze. PDA. Got it. Integrating new PDA data. That's nice and all that. Don't have time. Uh, anything else we got here? More booze. Why can't I take the booze? It's uh, I didn't need that bag, but we are... In fact, let's drop that. Yeah, the... If they have something in them, can't pick them up, so that was empty. Hey, I've got everything, right? I've got it all. Let's go. Oh, it's where we practice. I was worried that might be gone. Yep, good to be back, good to be back. Anything here? Oh, come on, there's a PDA right there. Fine, fine, fine. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, okay, we've pushed our luck enough. It's time to go home. Um, yeah, that home. Good. How do we get out of here? Right. Um, small problem. We're in the cave system. Um, well, then let's just travel around the top until we find an exit. Wait, think. Southwest. I found it southwest. Go southwest. Should be an exit southwest. Probably. We'll run out of battery power and, you know, die down here. It's cool. Did I bring a spare power cell? No, I put the power cells into. There we go. Whew. Exit, never mind. Put the set power cells into the Cyclops just so that we'd have power for that. Oh, okay, what did we even pick up in there? Data bank. Blueprint? Equipment? Water filtration suit. Oh yeah, then we got this one earlier. The industry standard water filtration suit is designed to minimize water loss by exploring hostile environments by filtering and recycling body fluids. It's a still suit. It got a still suit from Dune. Okay, yeah, I know Dune, like Dune was written in the 40s or 50s maybe? I can't remember. 60s. Okay, but it was definitely a long time before this. We're not talking about the movies, and there was also the first movie, the miniseries, and then the second miniseries. I've seen them all. I, I loved Dune back in the day. I like to do one too. Never mind. We're getting distracted. Filters contaminated water from less than four different bodily excretions. Blood and sweat may be effectively processed. Upgrade to mark to make the most of tears. <laughs> Onboard flavor neutralizer can be activated at startup. Flavor neutralizer not included on all models. Water filtration suit because drinking claimed urine is better than death by dehydration. Catchy marketing slogan. Catchy. I mean, it might not catch on, but it's a, it's an idea. And the gassy survivors. Uh, Gassy Log 17. Uh, Marguerite, what? Paul, how? What? Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Right, well, yeah, that's, that's bad. So what do we got here? Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. Just as its tentacles came within reach, made it appear out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand. 
the jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Badass. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. My oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Ouch. Final log. Oh, it is called the end. Okay, let's go home. That free range searching was not as efficient as the scanner rooms, but we did find an awful lot more in a shorter period of time. Okay, we're home. 11% power. This is the lowest I've ever dragged this thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, you power that sucker up. I'm gonna strip out some of the materials we got on board. I think we've got everything from the shallows we're gonna get, or the semi-shallows? Okay, we found that weird Degassi wreck. I probably wouldn't have found that if I hadn't have been uh, luckily stumbled into it. I feel like the screen is always too small. I feel like I should be able to see more of this. Maybe I should expand the FOV. Nah, eh, that'll, that'll freak out with people. Uh, but, um, I'm thinking... What I'm gonna do is drive this back, upgrade the bejesus edit, get cramming all the upgrades we can, the shield upgrade, any sort of stuff that'll help us out, and then we're gonna go deep, and we're gonna go on a long journey. We're gonna go down to that cave system we found, well, that big deep one that goes down to the fossil area. We're gonna go to the fossil cave. If there's any uh, leviathans in there, we'll kill them, and then we'll just set up shop. I wanna set up a thermal little thingy down there so we can recharge the ship, and we'll use this as a mobile base. I wanna stick in a radio, I wanna stick in a fabricator on this, just a, a few bits and bobs so that this thing is basically our new base, just mobile. Anyway, uh, this has been Subnautica. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Mm -hmm.